Hey everybody, Monty back, playing some more games, and this is Imperion Galactic Survival. It says it in the name, it's a space survival game, you build bases, ships, all that kind of stuff. This episode we're going to talk about how to get started. We're going to talk about what to do with your escape pod once you land, how to start constructing stuff, how to get your base started, and how to get the basics of your survival going, such as oxygen and fuel and things like that, because energy is key. So let's jump right into a new game. We're going to call this Training. We're going to go Survival Creative. It's pretty cool. You can actually pick some different places. And it's sandbox mode. You can do whatever you want. But we're going to stick to the Survival mode and play like this. Uh, it's a little desert with mountain ranges, lakes, and all that good stuff. Cool, cool, cool. This is an early access game, but it's, it's really fun so far already. And I thought, well, I'd make a quick video. Whoa, whoa, someone's right on me. And yeah, show you how to get started because they have a tutorial and there's some videos that you can look up, but I want to make a video myself and so help you guys out if you're just getting started. Now everything's WASD key moving around. Ooh, just discovered an iron deposit out there. I think if I look over this way, there's going to be something out there. I guess a little Promethium deposit, so I've got a little range there. This is our escape pod. It is shut down and doesn't look too good, so... You got a little constructor, you got a fuel tank, you've got some containers. Everything is accessed with the T button. And what you're going to want to do is just loot this guy. Uh, go up, hit these containers up, and just move these over. Or you can press this little guy right here and it'll move everything over. That's what we're going to want to do now. Uh, same thing. Oh, here we we'll scrap of water, rations, all this other stuff. I'll, get, mm, I'll grab some of the extra ammo. Drill charge, all this good stuff. We'll leave that in there for now. For now. This is a oxygen generator or oxygen station. Here's the oxygen tank. We're going to get into how to make oxygen. Because as you can see, on the bottom left, we've got health, food, oxygen, and stamina that we got to worry about. So it is what it is. Now, let's access this guy and move all of these materials over to our inventory. And what do we got in here? This is all food items and such. So that'll be another episode where we talk about how to grow your food and do all that good stuff. I'm not even going to move that to my inventory yet. Now you can go to your constructor. That's the orange up here. This is your fuel tank down here. I'm going to go to the constructor first because this is where I ran into my problem. First thing you're going to do is just transfer all your materials over. I'm just holding shift and clicking. Or you can drag it and then if you hold shift uh, usually you can kind of separate stuff out there. Uh, it's pretty nice. But we just want to get everything in our inventory. Oh, these guys too. And here's all your different things you can construct. Weapons and items. You've got your building blocks. You've got your components. And you have your devices. Now, of course, eventually you're going to be able to build your constructor at your base. You don't have to keep running to your escape pod for everything. But I want to get some stuff made. Some stuff. We gotta start working on our base. We gotta get a home base set up. So this metal plate takes five ingots and the output, so five ingots in, and it's gonna output ten metal plates. Craft time seven seconds, eight mass. So let's go ahead and do whoa, twenty of those. No, that was a mistake. I held down shift so it was doing ten at a time. Let's just do ten. Now notice nothing is happening. Like how do you construct? What do you do? Uh, it's not this guy. You know, you turn them on, nothing's happening. I'm off. Well, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Well, here's what's up. We've got fuel packs and we've got oxygen bottles. We've got to deal with that. We've got to turn the constructor on. So here's your fuel tank. It's empty. It's got nothing in here. So let's go ahead and just drop down. Hold and shift. Let's just drop three down. For now. For now. And then go, uh, still not working. What's wrong? Well, hop in your ship. T button to get in. And see, power usage off. The escape pod was off, it had no power. You can dock it, there's all kinds of, oh man, it's gonna be so cool. Go ahead and hit the Y key. Y is in yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Now we've got 24% power usage. The reason for that is the constructor is already hard at work. You don't have to sit here and watch these things get built. So, you see this little bar going around? Things are going well, you're actually building stuff up. I wanna build some pipes. Uh, these are like one at a time. Metal components, we'll do cables, we'll do five. I'm just making five of all these. You start out with a good amount of resources, and I'm not too worried about some of these things. I know I can get iron, 
I know I can do that. And I've got a lot of resources to start. So they kind of hook me up. And I need to do some electronics and some metal pieces perhaps. Here's your fuel packs. These are important because you get, it takes 10 promethium pellets. However, we know where the promethium is. But we start out with 120 pellets. So we're good on fuel. Uh, actually, I might as well build up a few of these. Uh, output is two. Nice. So every 10 pellets you get two and the fuel value is 20. So what we're trying to get to here to start out is we want to be able to build our base starter. So we've got to get the core. So I'm going to move my core over and we need to get eight whole blocks. Now the whole blocks are here. Uh, let's see, they're one for one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to get our eight uh, because we already have built our metal plates. So we could also do some, I want to go ahead and do a ramp. Let's do a ramp, a steep ramp, just so we have one. You'll see the base that we start. It'll be just a square and we can ramp up to it. That'll be nice. Now, we got to get the oxygen generator running. You get five tanks to start. Now, while this is all being built, let's walk over and get these first five tanks in and I'll show you how to use that. So you go to this oxygen tank up here. I'm going to go ahead and just drop both of those in. Now, my oxygen isn't down too bad. But you just walk up to this station right here. See these two pillars and this little block in the middle. Walk up to it. You get kind of attacked by Darth Vader-ish something there. And there you go. You can also see got, I got some power back here. My thruster is armored. My armored thruster. So there you go. Looks like I've, I'm have i missing. I got some damage. So we'll see. But we can also build a ground vehicle at some point. So Also, be careful. If you run out of fuel, you're going to be hurting. I need one fuel for my oxygen generator. Now, how are we doing up here? All right, this has some time, so we will be back. Let's run over to the water, which is just, ooh, look at that. There's like a big crashed ship or something there in the background. I haven't seen that. I just started playing this game, and I thought, well, you know, I'm going to bring you guys along. I've, I've heard some other interest. Ooh, there's like a tower over there. There's going to be some fun stuff to explore. I'm sure we're going to be collecting blueprints and all that kind of stuff. One of these fun games, and I'm excited to go explore space. This is not just being stuck in a small little box on this planet. Hit the M key and check this out. I'm here. My escape pod's there. There's the, the, those two deposits we're looking at. So I ran out this way to the lake. But look at this whole place. You can see it all built up. We're going to be able to explore the whole planet. But as you can tell, it's not too bad. We ran from here to here. You could probably almost run the whole thing, but we need to get some ground transportation. So let's go ahead and head up to the water. I for inventory. I'm going to move my generators over to my little hot bar over here. And my fuel pack I'll leave in here for now. And let's go like this. This is going to be what creates more oxygen tanks. And I'm going to put it right in the water. Creates more oxygen that way. You can see off, no energy source. Let's throw this fuel pack here. Boom. On. Bottles every 120 seconds. And that power is going to last for 23 minutes now. So that's pretty good. We'll get five or uh, a few tanks. Five or a few. Ooh, that guy's coming at me. I have fought one of these. It ended bad. I don't think they're aggressive. I'm about to find out. But if you shoot him, he's definitely going to come after you. So be careful of that. So let's head back get our small base that we're building in our escape pod. I'm going to build it out on the water. We're going to build a little water base and go from there. I hope these basics helped. If they did, make sure to share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Help others out. Let me know your tips. I love comments from other players, other YouTubers. I'm not doing this just for my own stuff. This is kind of fun so we can all play together. This game is single player and multiplayer. Haven't jumped into a multiplayer yet, but that'd be fun to get a group together and be playing. So our constructor is done. We now have enough to do our base. Now this one's going to take a little bit longer, but that is okay. So there's some trussing. We're going to have to figure out about hole integrity, windows, windows uh, sloped windows for the little ramps. That's cool. And uh, interior blocks. So this will be interesting to see how to build everything out. I'm going to play around with that a little bit first. And then, of course, come back with another video and show you guys what I've been working on. I'd love to see some pictures and videos and all that stuff of what you guys have going on. So you can see maybe we can make some lights, 
Uh, we can make an oxygen tank, all that good stuff. A cargo box. Might be nice to have a cargo box built. Ooh, it needs a control device. Out by our base. And here, let's say we need two computers and a motor, and we can get our constructor. Or two motors, and we can get our large constructor. Hmm. Hmm. Seems like a obvious one. Let's go with two motors and a... What was it? Two computers? There we go. We'll get those built. And that'll be installed next episode. Right now I want to just go ahead and grab my base starter, throw it here, and there you have it. Red is no go. Blue is good. So blue is good there. You have to have flat ground. And there's a flattener tool. Like it's actually a gun. And you have to charge it up and stuff like that. So it, I'm not going to mess with that. We'll probably talk about how to use the flattener because I have to practice it a little bit. I'm going to actually throw this base out right on the water. See if I can connect that ramp up. And we will call that a starter. Boom, right here. Boom, there you have it. Doesn't look too pretty. Let's turn my jetpack on. Jay, can I jump higher? Ooh, look at that. There you go. That's pretty cool. Whoop, that's how you can get up there. Jump is space bar. And jetpack. You can see it. It goes pretty quick, but once you're in space, I'm sure you're going to be able to get a lot more off of that. So let's hit my inventory. Oh, I left the ramp at the escape pod. So I'm going to go get that. Catch you guys next episode. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, this gets you just the basics started. Oxygen getting your stuff constructed, turning on your escape pod. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Keep on gaming.